kitu mzee Hagai Onyango's home. This is a home that was established way back in 19, maybe 43. And uh, it's now a home that mzee, being a polygamous person, I uh, decided that all the wives that he had were to be in this in this one setup, unlike the others who make every home for each and a single for a, every single lady. So Mze merged all of them into one home, and uh, he bore children and sons and daughters. They all lived in one home. Now that uh, the ladies maybe have gotten married, they have gone to wherever they are married. But the boys, um, by tradition purposes, they built their small houses here, which we call Simba. Polygamy is a practice of marrying multiple spouses. When a man is married to more than one wife at the same time. However, there are countries where polygamy is not legal. Most African countries still allow polygamy practice. We are in Mzea Guy's home in Seaya County. That was one of his son, Churchill. Mzea Guy is deceased together with his two wives. Let their soul rest in peace. The third wife is still alive. My main purpose for this video is to show you how houses structure are arranged in a polygamous home. Let us take a look at this home. As you enter from the gate, the first wife's house is always built straight facing the gate. The first wife in Luo is called Mikai. Mze Hagai had three wives. These three houses are for each wife. In Luo, it is always said that a home is for the man, but a house is for a woman. Women are never merged into one house. Each woman will have her own house. There are also cases where a man will decide to build each woman their own home. But in this case, as Churchill has said, they were all merged in one home. Now let us see how the arrangement is in this home. This is the first wife's house in the middle. And then on this other side, on the left side, is the second wife's house. The second wife will always go on the left side. Then we are going to see the third wife's house. This is the third wife's house on the right side of the home, facing the gate. After that, we want to go and see the Simbas. Simba is normally a young man's house in his father's compound. So the first son will always go on the right side of the home while you are facing the gate. So in this home, this is the first son's Simba. But he has moved out of this place and he has his own home. But while he was there, this is his first Simba. He has two wives and he had to build two houses. Adjacent to this house, you can see there is a house for the second wife. Churchill was telling me a story that he is a son from the second wife's house. So what happened, Damze decided that he is going to take the position of the second son of the home. So his Simba was built on the left side. Normally the second son will take the left side of the home to build a Simba. So this is Churchill's Simba and he is also preparing to move out from this home. The mze of the home will normally point to where each Simba will be built. This is a third wife's house. So her son also have to build a Simba in this home. This is a Simba for the third wife's son in the home. He was considered to be the third son in this 
home. So he will build on the right side of the home as the first son. This other house is the son of the first wife, second son, now considered to be the fourth son in the home. And that is how the alteration will go. The first son on the right, the second son on the left, then the third son on the right, and then the fourth son on the left. And the alteration will go like that until all of them have built a Simba. And in this case, Mzea guy was the one to decide who is going to be the first son, second son, third son, fourth son. Let us see what Churchill has here for us. Okay, here is my farm, which is a, a private uh, garden for nursery of fruit trees. I came up with the concept of having my own nursery because I wanted to generate my own seeds. So I have uh, avocado seedlings. I also had papaya papaya seedlings the idea that i'll turn the fruits into money because in the next future maybe uh, something like uh, some value addition can be done and uh, can have small industries within the area which you can also create employment and also generate income uh, maybe any other thing that i normally meet like here I have the aloe vera, it's a sample that I also want to maybe propagate and in future of it. I also have the lemon grass, which is here. I have the lemon grass. I use it for my own tea in the morning. I have the pili pili here, which is for my food whenever I want to change my sauce. Uh, this is uh, just within the homestead, by the way. It's not outside the homestead. It's just within the fence of the home. So it makes it easier for monitoring, for watering, and uh, security, for that matter. There's something here I also want you to see. There is a water borehole here. This was drilled that old, old time. You can remember these boreholes, how they were drilled. And then you will take a bucket and just throw inside and you pull the water up. This was the borehole that people were drilling those days. Let us see inside. There is water, there is water inside there, and Churchill told me that even the villagers around come to draw this water, and there is an organization which placed uh, this here so that people can use it. It is a chlorine, you will just draw water and then do like that and then there's a tap you can see there's a drop which has come out so you'll just have a drop in your water and then you just go and use it at home thank you for being with me kindly consider subscribing don't forget to give me a thumbs up meet you on the next